Hey everyone, this is Hoochie from Nagios, and today I'll be showing you how to monitor a switch so you can be quickly alerted when a switch is down. A switch is a critical component of any network. It's responsible for routing traffic between devices. If a switch fails, it can cause an outage impacting your network. With Nagios XI, you'll be able to monitor your switch for a variety of metrics, such as port status, bandwidth utilization, and errors. By monitoring these metrics, you can detect problems with your switch before they impact your network. And Hagios XI can also send you alerts when it detects those problems. This allows you to act quickly to resolve them before they cause an issue. Now before you get started with monitoring your switch, make sure your switch supports SNMP, SNMP is enabled, and that you know the SNMP community string. With all that said, let's check out how easy it is to monitor a switch. First. Go to the Configure tab and click on Configuration Wizards. On the top icon tray, we will select the Network icon. From there, we will find a Switch Configuration Wizard labeled Network Switch slash Router, and in just a few steps, we will have this configured and ready to monitor. In the first step of the wizard, you can choose which switch to monitor, how you want it to communicate with the XI via SNMP, how you want to see the ports that are discovered, and the thresholds for the metrics the wizard will set up. So first, we'll enter the IP address of the switch. You can also change the port number if needed. Then, we'll enter the SNMP community string. In the monitoring options, you can choose how you want the ports to be displayed. The default is by number, but you can have them displayed by port name, description, or by an alias. We are going to skip the bulk configuration at this time since we are configuring only one switch. But if you would like to configure multiple switches, here's where you would paste in a list of IP addresses which would save a lot of time. Moving to the bottom, we see default values for input rate and output rate, which are our warning and critical thresholds for alerting. You will probably want to change the default input output values of the 50% to something higher, unless you want to get a warning anytime the switch traffic hits 50. Below, you will also see default port speed. If you are monitoring a gigabit switch, you are going to want to change this to 1000. Hit next at the bottom to move to the next page. Under switch details, you can give the device a name or keep the default of the IP address. For example, we are going to call this Cisco switch. We will leave the bandwidth and port status values alone at this time. Scroll down to the bottom and hit next to move to the final page. Here, we can set the interval that the switch is checked. The default is 5 minutes. We will leave it at that. Next, we have the settings for when a problem is detected. Once a problem is detected, Nagios XI will recheck the device every minute, or whatever the time period you choose, up to 5 times before it sends you a notification. Now, we will click finish. From here, you can click the status details link under the other options. This will bring you to the whole status page where you can view that the switch is up and being monitored by Nagios XI. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, visit us at support.nagios.com. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.